You want us to call you Big League MDB? <laughs> what? What a loser! We're not That's your friends anymore. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to Pokemon X A Journey. With your host as always with Dry Bread. We've got What Geek. Hello. We've got Gooset. Hey. I have literally never played Generation 6 in any way, shape, or form. Not the Gen 3 remix, not Pokemon X or Y, not what, what were the sequels to X and Y? That's it. There was no there third was... game or there... remake. Yeah. I was unaware. So uh People have been building this up to me for a long time, either saying that they love it or that they hate it. I am completely blind on this. I legitimately have never booted this game up. Uh, and I probably don't know most of the Pokemon, to be honest. So uh, I know a lot of you are probably going to get very mad at me when I don't know the type matchups, but I legitimately don't know half these Pokemon. But that's what we're here for. I can't that help you there. I did not hair. know the Pokemon That's matchup. what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. It's Grass Stantler Goat Thing. You got it. That's its name. I, I got it. I'm not complaining. I like goats, so give me some more goat Pokemon. I'm always fine with that. Yeah, yeah, I know what a Pokemon is. Now, I'm sure it'll surprise no one to find out that we are playing on an emulator, so... It's not impossible to... Oh, wow. I didn't know you picked this stuff this early. I thought it was at Sun they introduced this it stuff. It's mostly just skin tone and default eye color at the moment. And default hair yeah, color at the moment. I, I don't think this particularly matters, but okay. Your name! <gasps> now, the, the, sm the small screen in the bottom right, the touch screen, might be too small. I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell us. I can always make it bigger. There we go. But we are playing off the same screen that you guys are seeing. Uh, so hopefully we'll notice any problems as they arise. And I hope there's no cropping issues. Um, the overlay feels a little bit weird to me, just in that there's a lot of blank space. But I figured we need a little bit for, like, editing, you know? Like, things popping up. Oh, and if I click this... Nope, didn't work. No, it did work! Yay! They gotta fix go. that problem. Sorry, there's a there's a weird issue with uh with switching scenes and in, in obs. I think I accidentally changed an option on myself or something. Don't worry about it. I was gonna say, why did our house look like a dungeon? I wasn't sure what he was flying out of. Turns out we're actually playing a Pokemon mystery dungeon game. Ah. You just got stabbed by a bird. Is our... Oh, I thought our um, our headboard was a bookshelf for a second. Oh, yeah. The, the Wii, Wii U. U. <gasps> the Wii U. It's a Wii U. The gamepad even has a screen. Oh, hey, look. I'm awkwardly... Okay, so it's not super smooth. Got it. Okay. Well, right now, you in buildings, you can move in eight directions. Um... It's ah. not as precise as Sun and Moon. Is there any way to zoom out the camera? Unfortunately, no, but this camera will zoom out once you're out and about a little bit more. And it oh, depends on God. where you are. Sometimes it's zoomed out, sometimes it's zoomed in. Yeah, usually in uh, in buildings, it's going to be zoomed in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to get used to that. I'm probably going to use my D-pad a lot. Just because I'm more comfortable with that. Why does this song sound very generic opening to a Breath of Fire game, I'm going to say? It sounds very Breath of Fire. I was going to say so far the beginning has been fairly Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Okay. There's a little bit of that. Generic JRPG intro. <laughs> yeah. 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 Also, it's not supposed to be pitch black behind them. That's an oh. emulator glitch. Oh, I might need to fix that. Why? Oh, I thought it crashed for a second. <laughs> you didn't want it. You don't want it to be an abyss when you see people in cutscenes. We've come to get you. I'm rival one, and <laughs> I'm rival two. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to get you isn't what I want to hear as the first words out of my neighbor's mouth. 
Your time has come. <laughs> We have like an actual gate to tend. Hold on. Is this our pet? Yep. That looks so painful without a saddle. You can run, by the way. I know, I just feel like I'm MDB's be house. I'm not used to the turning yet. It doesn't feel very precise. In fact, it feels awful, is actually a great way to put it. The movement feels terrible right now. Uh it's it's not quite top down, you know, just pick a direction. And it's not quite smooth. It's some kind of terrible middle ground. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get used to. Yeah. Later on, you'll actually get an ability to move around in more um, in more directions. Uh, it's a little bit more finicky, though. To spoil it, you get skates. Ah, okay. And then that takes control, like that takes precedence over walking when you're using the circle pad. Uh, so we're not going to mention that other than uh, me saying MDB's house, we're not going to mention the fact that you live with your mom, but it's your house. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. OK, I'm going to leave. Sorry, I just thought I'd explore around a little. OK, I kind of like the, the cool camera angle there. All right. And oh. that was route one. Oh, OK. There well, are I... no Pokemon on route one. <laughs> OK, what was that for then? Oh, I thought it was going to bring me over. I it's just to get to town. There's really nothing. There's here? nothing here. Oh, that's they the made shortest a song route for one that. in the entire series. Yep. Huh. All right, here are rivals uh, three through five. You're kidding me. Uh, three, three and four, rather. Three and four, yeah. Okay, do you guys remember that I, I, I like Gen 5 quite a bit. Contrary to what some weird people on the internet think who are, are super defensive about it. But one of my main criticisms of that game is way too many rival fights. It was like every route there was a rival fight and people defend it by saying, well, yeah, well, there's three rivals. So of course you're gonna have a lot of rival fights. That's the problem. There's three rivals. And so to have proportionate rival fights, you need to have a million rival fights. This is why Wally sucked because it was too many rivals and none of the rivals mattered in gen three. So now if you have a mountain of rivals, I can only imagine how tedious that's going to get every single route when I have to fight one. Thankfully, uh, you're really only going to be fighting Serena for the most part, Shauna sometimes, Tierno and Trevor almost never. Okay, then what's the point of them? There really isn't any. Okay. Funny background characters. I like the character design of some of them. They look interesting. <laughs> That's a fair point. How do you nickname yeah. someone you just met? I mean, you, you do it all the time with Pokemon. Big M. Big oh, M. No. The M Meister. It's, it's the closest you're gonna get to Big League MDB, <laughs> I guess. If I pick my own, do I just type it in? Yep. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just want them to call me Big League MGP. I think it'll only barely fit Big League. Will I spell it right? Eh, Big League M. Big League. Mm. If you had to, if you had no spaces, it could be Big League MDB. Oh shit! You're right. Yeah. This is important. We're doing that. They're, they're, no, no spaces. No spaces. No spaces. Oh, right. I I meant to hit uh the shift. There you go. And the best part is you can get sunglasses in the game. Yes! Well, he has a pair that he just doesn't wear. There we go. That's true. It's just p perpetually on his hat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wants to call you Big League MDB. <laughs> what? what a loser. We're not That's your friends anymore. <laughs> Uh, hey, can we see the Pokemon now? No. <laughs> and the game is over. What a fun hangout. That's my other name. <laughs> oh, who are we going to pick? Who are you going to deposit into the box immediately? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, so who am I? Uh, these balls kind of look like Dragon Balls, don't they? Just something about how nice they look. Yeah, all the shine. Yeah. By the way, uh, just for context for anyone new to the channel, Deposit the box immediately doesn't mean that I don't necessarily like the design of these Pokemon. It's that I don't really use starters that much. I, I don't know what it is. I kind of like making my own team. 
Um, this one becomes a wizard, right? Yep. Okay, that's cool as fuck. I'm taking the wizard. You didn't want the ninja frog? Oh, yeah, the eh. thing. The, the tank um, thing. Uh, do I want to nickname it? I'm not going to be able to think of anything. <laughs> I mean, you're going in the box. You could have named it Wizrobe. <laughs> I should have named it Wizrobe. <laughs> I should have named it Wizpig. <laughs> it's not a pig, but, you know, you can have dreams. You could have named it, like, Charmander or, like, Tepig. <laughs> <sighs> you ever notice how the, the beginnings of these games got really, really wordy? Yep. yep. When, did, when did that start? Gen 4? I, I want to say 5. Gen 5 was noticeably very, very wordy. It, it definitely it had a lot of narrative. Sun and Moon. No, yeah, Sun and Moon was awful for that. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Sun Sun is the first one I've given up on, like, not even at the halfway point of the game. I think that you're still getting tutorialized on things at the end of the game. This is the town. This is the Pokemon Center. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of, like, as you reach the Pokemon Champion, he's like, and by the way, before we start, this is the Pokemart. <laughs> oh, did you receive an X attack? Let me show you how that works. Here, this potion is for you. It's like a Caterpie. I do kind of like the uh, that there's just shopkeeps that, whoa. Yeah, the camera angles will change sometimes just walking around a town. It's not frequent, though, okay. so I think we should be fine. We only sell the best potions. Potion. I think I'm good. We only sell the best potions. Not even hyper potions. Wait! I need to know what this kid thinks about it. Give potions to weakened Pokemon. Gotcha. Thanks, kid. <laughs> There's a Pokeball shop across the way, I think. Ooh. Wait, why did they break that down into multiple shops? I think just to be unique, it doesn't really serve a big purpose because later on, the shops will actually carry more items all at once, so having specialty uh, shops is just a novelty. Is it just because it's supposed to feel like France? Yep. And as we all know, in France, you don't sell Pokeballs and potions in the same shop. I have yet to buy either one of them in France. That is correct. Much less both of them at the same time. Pokemon you catch in a Pokeball becomes your friend. Not if you keep their friendship low by making them faint over and over. Begs are mysterious. Begs are great. They automatically sort... <laughs> okay, that's some flash trash shit right there. Auto-cleaning garbage cans. Whoa! I thought he was coming right at me there. Oh, that felt weird. That felt wrong. The way I'm moving, like... You know, it just, just left, right, up and down, and then it shoved me. That felt weird. Yeah. There's uh, there's some growing pains when they transition from 2D to 3D, weren't there? Oh, absolutely. Ah! I didn't yeah, see him exactly. coming. I just... Okay, I could probably fish there later. Man, I'm gonna catch them all. No, you're not. I say that to myself at the beginning of every Pokemon game I ever play, and I never, I've never done it. I've gotten close. Sorry, I, I absolutely just didn't listen to him. Just go home. Uh, <laughs> okay. Tell your mom that you got a Pokemon. Oh, okay. Oh, right, I didn't even check my Pokemon yet. What am I doing? Hey, kid, you can't just run out with your new Pokemon. Suddenly you shiny. Tell your parents. I did have a shiny starter once. It was on one of my Pokemon Gen 5 uh, challenges. It was your uh, bug only run. Legit. I think it was the first, like, roll of the game and everything. I wasn't even rolling for natures or anything yet. It just, I didn't even notice it was a shiny at first. I was looking at it and I was thinking of maybe, like, getting a different nature. And I took a second look at it and I'm like, that looks slightly different. And I looked up the shiny and it was the shiny. Blew my fucking mind. Okay, sorry. Um, blue attack is less attack. Red speed is more? Yep, so you are timid nature. Okay, just making sure I was reading that right, because usually I think of blue is good and red is bad, but I guess it's the other way around in this. Pokemon yeah, the, zero, fire, zero, the fire starter. Blaze it. <laughs> <laughs> God. 
Okay, I like that you can get all the info on two screens, or kind of. Fire starter is primarily a special attacker. The water starter is primarily focused on speed and being a mixed attacker. And the um, water, or sorry, the grass starter is primarily a physical attack and HP. <laughs> I kind of got that impression, yeah. Big League MDB, wait. <laughs> are you the famous Big League MDB? I wish my name could have been, are you the famous Big League MDB? <laughs> I'm a big fan of your Pokemon challenges. Can you do a run with only Chespin? Actually, I saw one earlier that said, can you do one with only Froakie, so... Can you do only Ash's team? Yeah, I've done mostly with only Pikachu as well. Alright, cast Fireball. That's just doing it as mostly just as Ash did it. Oh, wow, I burned him on the first go. Strong Your starts. hair looks stupid! Oh! <laughs> And he's the physical one, too. He's so fucked. Uh, so is the ember supposed to look like that? Mm -hmm. Sure. I just... Because if, if I could fix it, I will, you know? I just need no, to know that it's wrong. No, it's small like the move is. Yeah, it's small and pathetic. Because okay. this was the first 3DS Pokemon game, so they were still experimenting with something. It just kind of looked like maybe some of the art assets were, like, missing and not loading properly, you know? Nope. Nope, just pathetic. You're amazing, Big League MDP. With a nickname like that, how could you not be? I know, right? I, I just really want to walk into a business one day and just say, don't you know who I am? I'm Big League MDP. <laughs> you have to take off your sunglasses in order to make a point. I have actually been told that there's a local computer shop where the uh, the owners are fans of my show, so I might have to walk in there one day. If E3 ever opens and you want to go, we'll go so you can go in, <laughs> and when they do security, you can take your sunglasses off and say, do you don't know who I am? <laughs> How come I didn't get a guest pass? Walk away in a huff. It's great because one, I don't need to walk around a convention all day. And two, they get a fun story they can tell people forever about what a dick I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's me. That's my other name. <laughs> yeah, what a dick. Uh, Sycamore is how you say that, right? A love yep. letter. That's an adult man. Who gave, was that to you or your mom? It, his mom. Oh, I thought it was to me. Okay. What? Your mom and the professor? Isn't that something that fans have been, like, saying is totally a thing in every game? Is yeah. that the professor is dating your mom? Yeah. I've been hearing that shit since Oak. I would yeah. believe that Professor Juniper from Gen 5 was dating your mom. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why not? I'm sure there is... I'm sure if you... No, I wouldn't date why not. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, that's a child. That's wrong. How is the episode gone here? It's 18 minutes into episode one, everybody. Welcome to a journey. I feel like I should have prefaced this, but when I call it a journey rather than let's play, don't expect quality. Don't expect progress. Expect this to just be... Off the rails. Expect quantity. If you've ever gone on my YouTube channel and you've clicked the About page, you know that the mission statement of the channel clearly reads uh, to, that the channel's intention is to make you feel like you're hanging out with your friends, playing video games, and all your friends are idiots. And so that's what we're going for. Have fun. Uh, you know how to use a tum... No. I, I still miss Simi Quasi on uh, uh, Entertaining Host. I miss that too. I liked that one. I think that you're the first person ever who, when they said, do you know how to use the map, actually said no. Uh, yeah, I, I picked honesty because I actually don't, I don't know yet. Uh, and then I didn't read it. Bye now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually really like Rhyhorn. And then it just kills you. It's a shame it's not very good because I like it a lot. That's Big Leap NBB, are you bothering my Rhyhorn? <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that your mom calls you that. <laughs> You'll have Pokemon by your side, so I don't get to keep the Rhyhorn, right? No, it's your mom's. She used to be uh, a Rhyhorn rider. Oh, that's kind of cool. You think she'd own a fucking saddle? I think she does. It's it's just out and about right now. Like, it hangs out out in the yard. 
I guess in fairness, it doesn't need a saddle on 24-7, does it? No. no. That would be very uncomfortable. So how many... Oh, I was about to say how many Pokemon are in this game, but right, it wasn't until Gen 8 that they started taking some out, right? Uh... No, I think there's some that they took out for this one. No, okay, so more accurately, Gen 8 straight up did not allow you to bring oh. in or capture Pokemon from previous generations oh. if they didn't list them in the in the decks. It's Pidgey! But here, here, as long as you had them available uh, in previous generations, you can uh, transfer them in uh, via, like, Gen 5 or something. And it's going to be so good. And, uh they had access to literally every single Pokemon in some capacity, but you can't get them all in game. You have to transfer some of them. Do you have Pokeballs yet? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you I bought, bought some. Yeah, about five. Yeah, it's always that. one of the first things I do. Gotta get those Pokeballs. Now, there's no auto save, right? No, you have to manually save. They still didn't add that until Sword and Shield? Yep. Gotcha. <gasps> yeah, gotcha. Brandon, I'm one step closer to catching them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Two, two out of all. <laughs> yep. I don't know, man. That P Pokedex is filling up. Look at... Whoa. Whoa, that's fancy. Nothing beats the classic, okay? Nothing beats the classic Pokedex. Little flip book. <laughs> I, you, you know up. what? I kind of agree. Okay, okay, we've got four. Oh, there's only 17 Pokemon in existence. <laughs> oh, sweet. That's going to make this really easy. <laughs> now, all I'm going to say is if either one of you want to open up Bulbapedia on the side and tell me what different Pokemon are. Don't, don't spoil, just, you know, what? how many new Pokemon are there to see in this area? Because I want to see some new Pokemon. Uh, two or three right now. So, Scatterbug, I thought, was new in Gen 8. I feel like I just saw this thing recently. Am I crazy? You, you would think that, because Scatterbug is kind of bland design-wise. Uh, you haven't seen Scatterbug since Gen 6, actually, because he hasn't appeared in 7 or 8. Oh, okay. I, I must be mistaking him with something from 8. Yeah, Blipbug looks a little bit like Scatterbug. That's probably it. This thing can't stay on our team. Is it really bad? It, okay, so no, it, just it evolves into token butterfly Pokemon. Okay. Uh, which is kind of frail come late game. It's kind of neat, though. It's got some little oh, yeah. quirks about it. Yeah, the butterfly thing is fine, but I, nobody wants that. Mm, poisonous black powder. Does this become a poison type? No, it becomes bug flying by the end of it. Bug flying, okay. No, how stupid can you be? Obviously, the thing that has a description of poison isn't poison type. They may, run into, they may run into one of the uh, Pokemon that's available here in the tutorial catching thing. Oh, Ooh. there's a catching tutorial coming up. I already did it a few times. You don't need to tell me. No, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I did it. Look, I have proof. I have proof on me. Don't tell me how to catch. Oh, good God. Okay. Oh, that one. I've seen that one before. Yeah, this is in Gen 8. Yeah, I've seen that. Fletchling makes me think of uh, Rookity. Is that its name? Yep. I yeah. actually like this bunny Pokemon. I, I kind of like, like it as well. It looks very, um, it looks very Disney. It really does. Yeah, and I like its evolved form too. So, you know, it's just kind of a... I'm not a big fan of its evolved form. I do like this version better, uh, but I do also like the evolved form, so. So what do you think that Pokemon sounds like? Because I think it sounds like Goofy. <laughs> Gorsh. Definitely That's a Pokeball. Like form does. <laughs> I think Gorsh might be its cry. <laughs> well, I'm gonna use Mudsport. Defin yep. Definitely its evolved form if you, if you see it. Sounds like that. <laughs> I really want one now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but I'm at least gonna go out of my way to catch one. It's uh, the a... token Rattata. Okay, I I kind of figured it was something like that, or like Lil Pup, or you know, like that well, kind, kind of, of role. Kind yeah, of it, it evolves. It's kind of Lily Pup. It evolves in into a ground thing. type, right? So. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was just thinking it might be your standard normal type, or like ah, I, every time 
I see that in the bushes, I think it's a Psyduck and I get excited. Yeah, because of the three uh, hairs. Yeah. Oh, I guess um, I'll take it out just to level up. Um, what's my Pokemon's name? A uh, Wizrobe. <laughs> just so we can power, <laughs> so we can power Wizrobe a little bit. Yeah, just so we got a little something because right now the team is pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, once you enter the next area, you're gonna be able to heal for free because Shauna's Ooh, gonna tag okay. behind you. Maybe I should go do that. Is this the last dude I can uh, catch in this route? I think I you know. can find Fletchling, but don't worry about it because you could definitely find Fletchling later. Okay, like, if, yeah, if if there's something that, like, is totally missable in a route, then, you know, let me know that there's more hunting to be done. Because I want to I wanna experience this game, you know? I want to really see what this game has to offer, because I'm excited. Like, I actually really like how this battle looks. I think for a hybrid of 3D, 2D thing, of, you know... It's a little Pokemon Stadium, but it's not a specialized sustainable. I think they did a really good job. That looks good. You have the possibility to get a couple other Pokemon here. Okay. Isn't one of them Caterpie? No. That's Pokemon Y. Uh, oh, so Weedle's here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason behind why we picked X rather than Y, by the way. I don't really know the differences. It's just, this is what we've got. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll do like one or two more encounters. Ah! Yay, Scatterbug. It feels good to be playing a new Pokemon game and really just catching everything, you know? Something feels good about it again. I haven't done this in a while. I did a little bit with X and Y, or X and Y, with Sword and Shield, but yeah. I, I need to get back to it at some point. You know, after this playthrough, maybe I'll do, uh... We'll do Pokemon Sun again, and I'll actually beat it this time. <laughs> That's a pipe dream. Yeah, it, uh, man, that game, that game. You're still in the tutorial, if I remember right. That game took the wind out of my sails. The, the one thing I had going for it is Alolan Pokemon are really cool. Pokemon X and, uh, not X, Y, fuck me. Uh, <laughs> <Maybe> Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield was, weirdly enough, I, I've never beat my personal file. Okay. But I have done a couple challenges in it. Yeah, I know, right? It's like it's like fifth gen for me. I the I have only beaten Gen 5 in Pokemon challenges and in a randomizer on What a Geek's channel. I've never actually beaten it casually. I got really close. I got to the Elite Four and I was grinding for the Elite Four when the game was new. And I just kind of got busy with the rest of my life, you know? Yeah. So, before people jump on Madrai for that, by the way, um, when some people define beating Gen 5, they also define going back to refight the Elite Four to beat the champion, because uh, you never did in the yeah. first playthrough. I meant seeing the credits. Oh, credits, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just trying to, to, to beat the game. And, like, yeah, I definitely would have played post-game stuff for sure if I had beaten it, because I like post-game stuff in RPGs. Well, we got Zigzagoon in the Pokédex, at least, from fighting them, so I can look up mm -hmm. the locations. I always thought that was really fun. There was some exciting as a kid about seeing a new Pokémon trainer fight, because it's like, oh, even if I can't find it yet, there's that excitement of one day when I get to that route in the distance. Like, maybe then I can catch my Venonat or whatever, you know? Yeah. And, like, I, as a kid, I wouldn't know if it's any good of a Pokémon. You know, I fought one and maybe it kicked my ass, and maybe it's because I sucked. But... Uh, you know, you see a new Pokemon, you get excited. And there's probably gonna be a lot I haven't seen. Ooh, is this our Viridian Forest? Th this is literally laid out exactly like Viridian Forest. It kind of is. There's a big tree. Hold on. Is there a potion hidden on the right side, on the left side of the tree? No. Okay. How do hidden items work in this game, actually? I think they'll just be invisible and you gotta wow. click around to find them. Okay. You'll find the dowsing machine later. If you talk to Shauna, then she can uh, heal your Pokemon for you. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drop a, s oh, okay, saves are lightning fast, good to know. Mm hmm Interesting that I can talk diagonally. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Oh, um, man. Yeah, this is just like, the, the like. The wow, variety. wow, really it is. Except for they added an item. It's very, very similar. Yeah, there are some quirks with the yeah. uh, grass patches, but it's laid out basically exactly the same way. You traverse it the exact same way. And I think this is a, what was this, a potion or a Pokeball? Yeah, a potion, okay. 
It's potion this time. I think it potion yeah. used to be up where that uh, lady is. So, uh, if we were to think of this like it's Viridian Forest, by the way, everybody, here's a little pro tip for you. Next time you replay Gen 1, uh, or Gen 3 Remix, the, um, the big tree that you run into at the beginning of Viridian Forest has got, like, f it's four squares big or four tiles big. The bottom left uh, tile of that, if you click on it, it's where, like, a guy is already standing and watching. Why is she spinning? Um, if you click it, it's got uh, an antidote. You'll never need that. That that info will help like one person ever. But just so you know, I started chuckling at the thought friends. of big tree MB MDB. Big tree MDB is that? <laughs> oh, Weedle! It really is Viridian Forest. Yeah, you're uh, you're probably gonna see a lot of them. No, the real question is, I'm sure I can't find one this early, but is there a Heracross in here? Because that Pokemon's no. really cool. No, there is uh... not, unfortunately. I like a lot of bug types. Uh, uh, I like a lot of bug types. Heracross is one of my favorites. I, I like Pinsir, I like Scyther, I like so many bug types are just really cool. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Pinsir and Heracross are in this game, just oh, not cool. this early. Sweet, I'm, I'm excited to find some new bug types too, some new gen six bug types that I can experience. Uh, I think at the moment, Scatterbug is the only one you'll be finding for, for now. Ooh, the frame rate on the... Uh, on these menus is actually really smooth and nice. Mm. Okay, th this really is just kind of a caterpie right now, isn't it? Mm hmm Yeah. Um, blocks the additional effect from attacks taken. That's kind of cool. Uh, pick up. That's always mildly useful. Is, is it still? Yeah, it based? actually has an item right now. Oh, is is pick up still based on the level of the Pokemon? Yep. Okay, so I could level him up and potentially get cooler stuff. Mm hmm Super potion. Hey, a super potion is pretty strong this early. I mean, right now, nothing really has seriously over 20 max health, but they will soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, on the next episode, everybody, we're going to continue going through this forest. Again, this is a blind playthrough. I don't know almost anything about X and Y and everything, so I'm really excited for this. Uh, playlist in the description as well as on screen if you want to keep watching more of these. And obviously links to all of Brandon and What A Geek stuff in the uh, description. Oh, and if you're watching this new, uh, don't worry. Pokemon Stadium Let's Play isn't going anywhere. They're just going to be swapping weeks back and forth. So they'll both always be uploading. It's either Stadium or X every single week. Uh, yeah. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. Shout outs to Big Tree MDB. Fixed it for you. No, you didn't.